All right, we're gonna go from start to finish and show you how powerful this is. So this was an article that I just wrote. Uh, I kind of took the information from the document, kind of put it together, and it cost me a whopping two cents for 910 words. And uh, I'm gonna show you how easy this was, but I'm gonna actually use our example from ChatGPT. And so as you can see, it said, I, I asked ChatGPT, from the last example uh, for this information. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the SEO writer. And as you can see, this is the last time, the stuff I put in last time. And all I'm gonna do is just delete all that and just use this. Because this is much more um, kind of concise. And so I'm gonna put this in here actually just use all of this information as the h1s and h2s so I'm gonna have the introduction to floki and i don't think the actual websites um copied so we'll do some cool editing real quick so this was uh we'll probably need eight this is gonna be a little bit longer oh it's only two more We don't really need an inclusion. All right, so it's only a six. And then we can enable subheading background. So for this one, I can just copy the link. Um, And so all I did was I copied the links in the background information. Uh, I'm gonna add medium. I'm not gonna really add it. I'm gonna nuke AI words. Uh, I can add bold because that's what I did last time. I'm not gonna add any facts. Uh, I'm gonna keep my style that I use for my um, guide to medium because and I'll go over that, how cool that is in a second. Well, all it is is I took a few of my guides in um, from Medium and I put it in here and then it generated a style and that style that I mimic is right in a style that's informative and enthusiastic and engaging, catered to the reader with a high school education. The writer maintains a balanced tone around a six on the emotional scale. So it just tells kind of how my mimic, uh, my style of writing is and that's the style that ChatGPT will run through. And so it has all sorts of different prompts on YouTube. I'm gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna scrape with SEO. Um, at the moment it does not support. So it does not scrape Google. So I just need to make sure that I do not have any ones with Google, um, which I think is like one of the first ones. So we just go to the top. Um, I think it's under here. Um, oh, this right here. So I'll just take out this first one and then we'll go and scrape. And so this uh, should take probably uh, pretty quick. Um, it looks like it's already writing the blog post. Um, I don't know if it actually scraped those uh, Twitter or not, but um, we'll see how it compares to the first one I wrote. The first one I, and I wrote is this one right here. Uh, overview of Floki. I think it's pretty solid. I'm actually gonna use this so far. Uh, Floki uh, Valhalla, uh, Floki Locker, Tokenify, Partnerships and Conclusion. And so we'll see what uh, this one that comes up. It's already at 40%. Um, and we'll see how many, what it comes up with, so. 
And you can see it's pretty quick. It's at 53% uh, already. Usually if it scrapes, like it, if it grabs this link and it'll say uh, scraping the, the website, I don't think it did that. So I don't know how much information it's going to get besides just this, this stuff right here. We'll see. It cost me, how much did this cost me? This one cost two cents. Um, if it generates more than two cents on uh, Medium, then it's a win. If I can add some affiliate links and, and all sorts of fun stuff. All right, so this cost me a penny and it had more words. So let's dive in on what this looks like. And right off the bat, I can see that uh, the way I did it previously was much better because it actually pulled um, the data from what I gave it more. I don't know if it grabbed all the, uh, the URLs, but if you look at this, just the how it talks on this one, um, I think is not as good. And it could just be user error, to be honest. But if we look at my new one, it says, hey there, Floki is just not a mean coin, stopping the mean world with its impressive features from ensuring the digital asset to offering a play to earn NFT game in the Floki Valhalla. And if you look at this one, it says, Floki is a revolution revolutionizing the meme world with its meta, I don't know, enthralling both investors and meme enthusiasts with a innovative concept and growing popular. As a rising star in meme coins, Floki recent uh, market performance has significantly, it's just boring, uh, to be honest. So I think that the biggest change uh, that I probably would have done differently is just adding more to um, the um, actual background uh, information. So um, take that as you will. You just need to mess with it to see what your best settings are. I'm always ch changing this. And so that's why I think um, if we go back here, um, having your like more information here like i had in the first one uh and kind of setting my own h2s and i don't think having these backgrounds for now was pretty good so last the settings that worked best for me was nuke iai's bold the h2s understanding the information um by putting in what you think would be good uh, uh i guess h1s putting as much background information here and not and hoping uh, if that it grabs the HTML from the website. If it doesn't, then I would just rely on this. The more information you can give it, the better. And um, that's about it. So uh, I love this. This is how I'm going to start uh, using all of my information, um, using all of my writing, all my articles. So this one, I'm going to keep it fix it up, uh, add uh, some pictures, and then share it, and then po point everyone to uh, my community, which we'll get into uh, in the Digital Tycoon group. So definitely you wanna check out that group because um, that's how you take your business to the next level.